This week in Louisiana agriculture. Water, water everywhere and every drop is for sale. I'm Avery Davidson with that story ahead. I'm AJ Sabine. I'll show you what's shaking here at the Southern University Ag Center's annual livestock show. And in Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, Holly and AJ aren't skimping on the fresh gull shrimp as they bring you another recipe using delicious Louisiana rice. Hello, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks so much for joining us. They are the top two industries in Louisiana when combined contribute nearly $80 billion a year to the state's economy. I'm talking about agriculture and oil and gas. Now the two industries are teaming up to protect environmental concerns. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us, this partnership is also helping some farm families keep their farms running in the black. There's something in this shot which almost every farmer has, but few think of as a source of income. I'm talking about water, specifically surface water like in this pond. Since the discovery that the Haynesville Shale underground rock formation in northwestern Louisiana is likely the largest natural gas field in the United States, demand for surface water to use in drilling and hydrofracturing or fracking is in high demand. Poultry farmer Joey Register says one well can use as much as 8.4 million gallons of water. So he's cashing in on that demand. Pennies from heaven is what I call it. It's more like dollars from heaven. When you have an impoundment and it's all on your land and it's not a, uh, 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 a public water body, you have the ability to sell the water from that. Louisiana Farm Bureau Associate Commodity Director Kyle McCann says because groundwater is not the best option for natural gas drilling companies, farmers can make thousands of dollars selling water from their ponds. Never did I dream it would be this phenomenal. This, I mean, this, everybody in the northwest Louisiana that's got land can and has benefited from this oil field. Register plans to benefit even more. He's built a 1,000 foot levee to hold water on a part of his land he could not use for farming. Already, this man made lake is 11 feet deep. In this picture from the air, you can better see how big it is. Register says once it's full, it will be more than 30 feet deep and stretch over 17 acres. Well, I don't know if you can call it aquaculture, but we are <laughs> we are moving a little water to the oil field and supplying their needs with it. And with more drilling derricks going up every week, natural gas companies are looking for surface water sources they do not have to truck in from miles away. The closer we can get these water resources to the drilling operations, you can cut some of that traffic down. And farmers who may be on the verge of going belly up can stay afloat. In Shreveport, I'm Avery Davidson for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. The Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation is heavily involved in water issues across the state and Kyle McCann, who you just saw in Avery's report, is the Farm Bureau's representative on the Louisiana Water Advisory Task Force. To learn more about Louisiana's water resources, you can visit our website at twilighttv.org.